Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to find if the given year is leap year or not using Java. So before that, let's understand what is leap year or in other words, when we can say that the given year is leap year or not. Okay. So the first thing is it should be divided by 4. Okay. So if we divide it by 4 using the modulo operator in Java, okay, then the reminder should be 0. And then we can say that it's a leap year, but that's not the only condition. Okay. Let's go more into it. So say we have one year given. Okay. Say for example, 2000. So the first thing it need to satisfy is that it should be divided by 4. Okay. So if we divide it by 4, okay, the reminder is 0. The next thing we need to check for the given year before we check or before we say that it's a leap year or not is that it's a century year or not. Century year means 100, 200, 300 likewise. Okay. So if the given year is century year, okay, that means if we divide it by 100 and we are getting the reminder 0, then we can say that, okay, the given year is century year. So for that, we need to have one more condition, okay. The first thing we need to check is that it must be divided by 4, then we can proceed further. The next thing is we need to check that it is a century year or not. If it is a century year, that means it is divided by 100, then we need to have one more check for the century year only, okay, that it should be divided by 400 as well. That means dividing the given year by 400 using the modular operator in Java and we are getting the reminder 0, then we can say that it's a leap year. So for the year 2000, okay, it's divided by 4, yes, it's a century year. Yes, because if we divide it by 100, we are getting 20. So we need to have one more check that it is divided by 400 or not. Yes, it is divided by 400 as well. So 1000 is leap year. Now let's check for 2020. Okay. So if we divide 2020 by 4, that's fine. We are not getting any reminder. Reminder is 0. It's a century year. No, because we cannot divide 2020 by 100 and we will not get the zero reminder. We will have something, right? So we don't need to check for 400 as well. So 2020 is leap year. Okay. So this extra check that it should be divided by 400 is only applicable for the century year, like 100, 200, 300. Okay. Say for example, 1700. Okay. It is divided by four. Yes. It's a century year. Yes. If we divide 1700 by 100, we will get zero reminder, right? But it is divided by 400. No, that means 1700 is not a leap year. Okay. So this is what we are going to do using our Java program. So let's jump to Eclipse. So let's take any year. Okay. Say I'm taking 2020. Okay. Let's say one Boolean variable that will tell us that it's a leap year or not. By default, let's say a false value for it. Now the first thing is we need to check, okay, that it's divided by four or not, right? The very first condition using the modulo operator in Java, we know, right? That we should get zero reminder, okay? This is the condition we need to check, okay? This is the very first condition. If it is not divided by four, then it's not a leap year. That's very straightforward and very clear, okay? It must be divided by four. Then only we can say that the given year is leap year. Okay. So using the module operator, if we are not getting any reminder, basically zero, then only we need to go ahead. Okay. So here, what now we need to check that it's a century year or not. How we can check using the module operator, we will divide by hundred. And if we are not getting any reminder, basically zero, then we can say that it's a century year. Now for century year only, we need to have one more extra check, right? That we should be able to divide it by 400 as well. Okay. So dividing the year using the module operator by 400, we must get zero. Then only we can say that that's a leap year. 
if the given year is century year like here okay 1700 but it is not divided by 400 then it's not a leap year okay here you don't need to set it false because the by default value for this one is false but let's do this for your understanding okay otherwise this is not required because the default value for this boolean variable is false okay now this is for century year only okay but if the given year is divided by 4 like this one 2020 it's not a century year then it's straightforward thing right it's a leap year okay so here it's a leap year if the given year is divided by 4 and it's not a century year then it's a leap year okay so that's it let's have one if condition for sysout that if this variable is true then we will say that okay given year is a leap year else the given year is not a leap year okay so let's run the program so 2020 is a leap year okay that's fine let's check 2000 let's run the program yes 2000 is also a leap year okay let's check 1700 okay see that is not a leap year but if you check 1600 it's a leap year and even if you check for 1996 say for example okay it's a leap year why because we can divide the 1996 by 4 it's not a century year okay straightforward it's a leap year same for 2012 is a leap year okay let's check for 2016 it's a leap year and the next upcoming you can say 2024 is also a leap year okay but 2100 is not a leap year because it's divided by 4 yes that's fine it's a century year yes but we cannot divide 2100 by 400 okay so that's not a leap year and that's why we are getting that 2100 is not a leap year so this is what leap year and this is the program how you can find the given year is leap year or not using java this source code link you will get in the description and apart from that in the description you will find the links for the courses that i am providing like spring boot graphql with spring boot mongodb with spring boot building the reports from your java and spring boot application using jasper reports rabbitmq messaging with java and spring boot and many other courses just check out the links given in the description and you can take any of the courses that you are interested in. So that's all for now. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.